On Dumfries and Galloway's North Solway coast, miles of sand dune and salt marsh. I've come to the RSPB reserve at Mersehead, but I'm not here for the bird life. Sometimes you find the most interesting sights in the most unassuming places. This, I suppose, might look like a bit of a building site, but it's actually a carefully created habitat for a special local resident. Let's take a look. <laughs> Natterjack toads! The Natterjack, with its distinctive yellow stripe, is the UK's only sand-loving amphibian. It's found in just a few coastal areas nationwide. I'm joining licensed toad handler Ben Mitchell to see if we can catch up with this year's residents. So have you got any here? Uh, I do, just underneath this one here. Oh, that's a chance we'd have it. There we go. Are you able to bring it out? There's a little bit. Let's have a close look. I must say, much smaller than I thought. They are, yes. They're much smaller than, uh, than common toads. So there's that stripe, the, the yellow stripe that everyone tells us to look out yes, for. Yes, the, the little go faster stripe. <laughs> so you can see that the, the little wriggler is trying to get away. Yeah, yeah. They're very much the, the cheetahs of the um, amphibian world. <laughs> so they're very, they're very quick on their feet, so they don't jump, they're very much runners. OK. So what is this work that you've been doing here to, to encourage them? We reintroduced them into here. Um, back in, in 1999. These are artificial breeding pools that we, we manage for them. Better put this one back, shall we? It's a cracker. It's the breeding season, and when the sun goes down, the natterjacks come out to play. We're hoping to hear their distinctive din. The natterjack toad has a mating call that can be heard over half a mile away, which is why it's been dubbed the loudest amphibian in Europe. The male will inflate its throat sac and call to the females that it's time for action. It's just warm enough for them tonight, so Ben's trying to get them in the mood with a recorded version. Just like the sound of their own voice. <laughs> Treading carefully, we're off to see if we can find the source of this tropical sounding chorus. That's one right there. Oh, you're kidding! <laughs> <laughs> you have got some luck on your side. <sighs> you found that right in all this darkness. That's incredible. It's huh? a female. A female. She's desperate to get in there. Yeah, right. Join the party. It's hard to get close up to the calling males, but turning off the lights does the trick. It's quite loud, that one. With the mating call louder than ever, it sounds like the future of these natterjacks will be secure for another year at least. I must say, sitting here listening to this chorus of natterjack sounds, such a rare animal. It's quite special, isn't it? It is. It is. It's a real, a real little moment. It's a dream. 